This week, I'm tagging along with Sawyer and John while they set out their southern Wisconsin beaver trap line at Beaver Camp. And we're going to have a series of a uh, few weeks of uh, setting traps, checking traps, and having a good time. So come on along. We're putting a line out. Here we go. I got it at a rummage sale for 15 bucks. I couldn't turn it down. No, and if you had to buy it, you'd probably pay, what, 35 40 Yeah, I, I don't know. I've never, I never priced one out. Oh, that's a, there's not any sign here, but that don't mean they won't come through. It already looks pretty. Yeah, it sticks galore. Should I try it out and swim through it? Yeah. <laughs> bought and cast or did you make it yourself? Made it. So what do you do? I uh, I got a blender Yeah. and I just blend it all up and then we save all my oil sacks. Yeah. Blend that in with it and we put a little mineral oil. Yep. Seems to work pretty good. Oh yeah. It's dark. So it's kind of fresh. But wasn't it last year that that beaver set the caster right next to yours? Then we have a, like a number four double long spring here or something? Yeah, that's why I got a bridge number five in my hand right now. <laughs> How are you liking those Douglas? Love them. Yeah, they're nice. I love these Real things. Nice. Yeah, this is a good set. This is a beaver. This is a... This is a beaver. This is a 99% chant beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Never say a hundred percent. Nope. But out of all your sets so far, oh, this is about reeks. the best one. Because this was made this today. Look at that. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. People that don't trap but like the outdoors have no idea how much fun this is because every single set there's a chance. There's a chance. Whereas when you're deer hunting, you got a chance. Once usually. Yep. In how often? One shot. A week sometimes. Right. <laughs> Whereas here, every trap you check, it's like Christmas morning and you're five years old. That'd be all right. Yeah, knee deep. Just Ain't real mucky, but. Stomp it down as best you can. That's right, if you sit close and sit shallow, you usually will catch a front foot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get real shallow here though. Well, stomp it out a little deeper, make yourself more of a, more of a funnel. Yeah. There you go. God, I can smell the caster, just I get the back draft here, I can smell it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's fresh. That's what you like to see. Yeah. Look at this. Thing of beauty. Yeah. That's a thing of beauty. Perfect spot for a set right in the corner. Yep. Oh, maybe I don't know. That's deep enough. You get it. That rotor ain't heavy enough to stomp. I always stomp them down. Get it tight and stomp them down. Did. I just cut it. Is it leaking? Yep. yep. <laughs> it's, like right, a, it's warming up. It's like a scissor. Ninety-nine percent chance of a beaver here tomorrow. Ninety-nine. It's always Ooh. that one percent. <laughs> I 
kind of looks like a tractor truck. <laughs> yeah. It's getting lighter. That's a good thing. All right. Start over here. You must be hungry. They're eating oak. Very good set. And they're straight across. I put one right on that point right yep. over there too. I think they're there or there. Yeah, either one. Either one. Come and get it. We call it love juice. Love juice? <laughs> I like that too. There. Thing of beauty. I'd swim into it. a little better, a little deeper. Oh yeah, we got some muck there. That's yeah, great. if you get to your crotch, that's nice. Yeah. There's fresh caster down about 100 yards or so, and okay. there's some bunch of fresh chewing down there too. Perfect. Real good. But they'll come down to this corner for sure. Oh, yeah. Like you got another take, huh? No, that's a perfect set right there. That's I, got, a, I can't not set it. Yeah, that's. It looks like, I don't know about you, but it almost looks like a beaver. Both, Both probably maybe. beaver and otter, yeah. Set a 330 there, for yeah, sure. I, I can't. Yeah, and just so block rocky. it. Just block it with this stuff. They're crawling out right here, too. Yeah, there's a major crop. Yeah, definitely, definitely need to bring a couple more traps in here tomorrow. I mean, yeah, another at least one more drowner over there, maybe a drowner at another three thirty. There's a real good crossover. good chance that there's some bank dens up there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I looked down, I couldn't see a lodge or nothing, but there's down brush yeah, all and over. Probably, yeah, if there's that much to and there's a bank den somewhere, well, it's good that there's beaver and it's worth a walk. It's worth a walk. We're trapping Kenny style. <laughs> Oh yeah, no problem. That's a guaranteed beaver right there. You're gonna catch beaver here. You guys, how many traps you break? You need more. That? I'm talking. Yeah. To the left. Right there, that's a that's fucking a lot. Lot. How many traps you bring? I brought two, and he's got one. Yeah, you're gonna catch beaver here. I just set both sides here. Absolutely.
You know what I do sometimes? Give, yeah. them a, give, them yep. a re, give them a reason. That's what I was going to do right now. I was give them a, a little, reason to come through. I was going to put a little caster. <laughs> yeah, might yeah, as well. Yeah. Break it off and stick some on there. It like can't it. hurt. Yeah, that's a good spot. There's no bad spot. The hardest thing I always say is figuring out where the best spot is. Because look at how big this marsh is, and you want that beaver to go through a 10 inch spot. Uh -huh. A lot of air around it. A lot of space for error. That's why if you can set trenches, they're good all day. Every day. This is a special bridger. bridger. It's a bridger. Yeah. That's a, that's a man-sized trap there, that's for sure. Yeah, I like it. I don't like that's... it right on the edge of this road here, but <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a, it's a Tuesday, or whatever it is today, I would say. Good chance of catching one between these two. If he doesn't catch them, give me a wait until him. Yep. nice down here is you guys have water that's pretty stable. Yeah. Up by Kenny, it fluctuates so much. Look at guy, he is a complete innovator. What's that? You have topple stick there in your shell holster. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's nice. what that's for. It's not for shotgun oh, shells. It's for okay. beaver it sticks. I think I caught that coon in this trap last year up there by the refuge. I bet he didn't go too far, did he? Oh. The trap itself is drawn. A five pound trap. Although the too. coil number fives are the same size, yeah. just that the springs make it look bigger. Yep. Want some more? Yeah, maybe just one more. How many different stops do you think we've had? Well, we're at 14 right here, I think. I got stops? it wrote down. We got 31 traps in at that last place. Okay. So this will be... Well, 14 stops. Even if you just catch one beaver per stop. Mm-hmm. So you buy a lot of your traps from that guy or he just gave them to you or his wife did or what? He gave them to me. When he, he knew he wasn't trapping anymore? Or? Yeah, he was uh, He was very sick. Yeah. And uh, I was over there basically every day with him. And I guess, Was he a neighbor or just the guy you met or what? He was one of my grandpa's buddies. Oh. My grandpa Gus, who's yeah. now dead too. We kinda, when my parents moved out into my grandpa's place, right. they got to know Glen yeah. a little bit better and uh, I just got my trapper's license and I'm like you know they're crunching like that because it's they get pitting from the rust and the rust put some spray paint on there they'll set, set easier too oh, I'll do it after this weekend well let them get all dried out just put yeah. them in a big pile and spray into the pile and just keep turning them that's what we do Kenny did all the traps this last winter because he had time. I think he said he went through 14 or 15 cans of Rust-Oleum. Well, he's probably huffing most of it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so I would say set your trap down on the yeah. deeper water, but yep. break this out so you got some flow and yep. whatever comes through will be dead. We'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of set that makes the set you just made kind of obsolete. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to catch them here before they get there. You never know, they could, they could, they could go up in this corner over here and cross. You just never know. Want me to break this loose up here so that you know how much water you got coming set in? This motherfucker too. Yeah, go ahead. Clear some of that shit you. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll make it a... Just like a... It's like a water park slide.
bad thing is, is you're going to have some water. We had a lot of set fights just a couple years ago and we just hammered them. Really? Yeah. Ice is going to be a thing of beauty. Got murmur there. All we gotta do is have stuff come up stream now. Or downstream or flying through the air, I don't care. As long as you get in the trap. Reach that? It'll work. Nice thing about that cave is he'll kick out down into the deeper water and you won't have a beaver hanging out. Hanging out for all the eagles to pick on and other beaver to bite. And there's the caster. Saw it from the road driving by and he locked up the brakes. It's like a Christmas present. <laughs> Ain't much sign though. One trap. That's the only caster I see. <laughs> Jerry? Little Jerry. <laughs> well, he was here recently because, yep. like you say, that stinks. Yeah. You would think he was here anyway. Yeah. yeah, I grabbed that stuff there and we'll squeeze it in here. So, this is not bad right now, but one more right here would be good. Yeah, like a long one, like that one right there. Let me see that one once. This one right here actually be good. I'll just stick that right here. Here with this one? Yeah, we can do that too. Just give it a little bit of... It, it's not going to go in. It's pretty solid right there. I don't know if everybody can see that, but there's a trap under there. Yeah. Floater set, that's what I call them. I don't know, I've done it several times. Because you're about four or five feet wide here. But it's a natural swim through from side to side. You're, you're worried about swimming and trying to go underneath it? Yeah, yeah, they go right through there. No, I'm saying underneath the trap. Because yeah. we got. No, we got they're about, only going to dive under a little bit. Well, yeah, I guess there's only about probably. Yeah. I don't you know, got, this whole, got this whole channel they can swim down and they're going to go right through here. Yeah, just make it as solid as you think you need it. There's a whole bunch more stuff there behind you, I dug out. Stuff them on there. I don't know what to call it. It's a swinging floater set. A log jam? <laughs> it's a log jam. I don't know. I always call it a floater because you're just floating it on pieces. You've got too much of a space there. It's basically just a channel set that you force them through. That's about all it is. I don't know. It's one of those that you just hope something comes by because if they come by, they're going through it. They're used to swimming through here. I'd swim through there. I think I would. <laughs> yeah, that's beaver caster. Yeah, I think that's a house out there. And with that little island out there, there could be a dang bank done on in there too pretty easily. Right. Yeah, I need that bank. Yeah. At least one set here anyway. You have to get some. I mean, just you want to come down here and just see a mountain and the whole spread out all the way across here, but you got what you got. Yep. Enough to set. I don't know. Stay on his side of the reservoir. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of them like that too. I just lay them down. I like getting make, think, making sure my white. Yeah, you got to believe when they're in the water, they can see it back there if you yeah. lay them down like that. I usually like like one one or two standing up, one or two laying down, whatever. Just something that looks delicious. Juicy. Real juicy. Oh, there we go. All right, nice made trap. Yes, they are. I still like my bridges, though. Oh, yeah. They're my favorite. Well... For the price, you can't go wrong. They're just reasonable, I think. Well, the, like I said, the new dogless ones they got, they're just so freaking nice. Yeah, they're not bad. So nice. We got some uh, Montgomery's that are dogless, number threes. Yep. They're a pain in the butt to set, but man, do they catch beaver. 
they got such a heavy trigger that I think they got to pretty much do a cannonball on top of them. And yeah. They always catch like a whole back foot. Yeah, like up to their ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, the nice thing about those is they aren't going to open. Right. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> nice depth. tell you about the ones that we got from my uncle who were there my, my grandpa's when they came yeah. out of the garage. They're like 40 years old. Uh -huh. They smell fantastic and they bust up. You'd use a hammer to bust them up and that's really? what we used last year all year. Yeah. So we were our grandpa caught out here 50, 60 years ago. You're we're using, using that for lure. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> I like that old shit like that. Yeah. Like I said, it's the same thing as using old Glenn's traps if you can. Yeah. We're just amazed at how good it smelled once we busted it open, you know, when you crush it all up. Yeah. It smells great. There. That looks like a... Looks like a wiener. Looks like a wiener. Of course, that weight you got would work good too. Oh, I'm gonna have to use it. Oh, beauty. Caster right here too. Right here. That's the spot though, right there. That's the beauty. Got it. Can you get a point like this? Yeah, I like this place. These are nice. Oh, oh that's nice. Let's clip it on. Nice to have big hands. Yeah, <laughs> it helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm out of daylight. She's going down now. Yeah. It's definitely getting chillier. Yeah. Thing of beauty. They've been making caster mounds here for 50 years. You see the one down here? Yeah, I, I, I think that's the one I usually go to, but yeah. This one's a little further. Look at that. The beauty. There's four more casters. Not this big. This is the. Yeah, I, that, this one. This seems to neck them down a little bit. Yeah. That's such a big cavernous spot there. You know. Yeah. Well, what? I got. Uh, I bought a dozen of them. Minnesota trap line in the pan in the night latch position wasn't level. Yeah. So I just emailed them and said, hey, these aren't level. Is there anything I can do to tweak them? And they said, uh, I'm so sorry that they got shipped that way. We'll send you a new, a new dozen and you can keep the old dozen. Wow. So that's I got good two service. dozen for the, yeah. That's so good service. Some of these, yeah, they haven't been. Yeah, Minnesota trap supply is pretty good. I've bought quite a bit of stuff. For yeah. Them. yeah. That's just a shaven. Yep. Yeah, they, so after that, after they did that, I said, uh, you're getting my business. Yep. Look at this cast. Oh my God. It's 
like a Catholic church steeple. Cathedral. Thank you.